believe it or not, you get what you say. What are you saying about yourself? Yes, it's all about you. It's not in a selfish manner or disregarding feelings of others, but being aware that you...
beginning, they tried to hide her, they let her out, the inevitable happened, the voters figured out who she are, and now she's become a liability, and they're obviously considering dumping her, and I, I can't say I blame them. Tell me if you could uh, just dump her. Uh, obviously. Look, I don't, she's treating this election, uh, primary election as a joke and it has backfired. I mean, she should come out and debate me if she thinks she is, a, if she wants to claim to be a progressive Democrat, let the voters decide and we'll see who is really the progressive Democrat in this race. Tell me, I guess, what you make of, of what's been going on here just now, the, the prospect of making it dropping. It's clear that they are in panic. Um, there's so much momentum on our side. And it, you know, the truth is, it's not just anti hopeful and anti Cuomo. There's genuine excitement about Tim Wu and genuine excitement about my campaign. It's an historic campaign. I'd be the first female governor, and I'm hearing that a lot. It's a real excitement to see a woman in the governor's office. And Tim would be the first Asian American statewide. And we represent a new vision. I think people are not just tired of Cuomo and Hochul, they're excited to have people they can actually vote for, not just against. Was it a big mistake, you think, in the first place for him to put on? It was a huge mistake. It shows that he wasn't taking Democratic primary voters seriously, or Democrats seriously, or immigrants seriously, um, or anybody who cares about basic progressive issues seriously. Great, thanks a On behalf of the officers and directors and volunteers and the people that make Labor Day a success, we welcome you. We welcome you with 42 mass fans on the parkway. We welcome you with 150 people from Guadalupe. We welcome you with two, two Jamaican bands on the parkway. We welcome you with a band from Nigeria if they arrive in time. We welcome you with all the other masqueraders that are, will be on the parkway. The year, the West Indian community here in Brooklyn uh, is an entrepreneurial community, a hard-working community, a spiritual community, a community that has given much to the borough, the city, and the country. And so we're thankful for you, and I'm looking forward to going back down to Washington, D.C. and fighting for the things that are important to this community, like comprehensive immigration reform that we need here in America, in fact, along with Congresswoman Yvette Clark, I'm part of the Congressional Black Caucus's Task Force on Comprehensive Immigration Reform, one of the three co-chairs. Yvette Clark, of course, is from the island nation of Jamaica, and Stephen Horswood is another co-chair. His mother's from the island nation of Trinidad, and then there's Hakeem Jeffries. I'm the only Yankee in the group. But that's okay because they know that I represent one of the largest Caribbean American communities in the country and I continue to have your back and we're going to continue to have the back of the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, is doing a great job. They're trying to sue him, but the only person that deserves to be sued is John Boehner and the Tea Party. God bless you. Please establish Midwood, Dickens Park, Kensington, Wizards, Harrison Park, Slope. I'm the ranking member on the Energy and Telecommunications Committee as well as the ranking Democratic member on the, on the Senate Committee on Alcoholism and Substance Abuse. I have the distinct honor of representing the largest concentration of Caribbean immigrants outside of the Caribbean in the world. And this is the culmination of the best time in our year. People oftentimes think of the Labor Day West Indian Carnival as simply an event that happens on Labor Day. But it's far more than that. If you live in my district or come to visit, you would know that. And so I'm here to thank both the sponsors, the West Indian Carnival Association, Mr. Bill Howard and, and the members of that uh, executive board for all that they do to make this thing happen. We are now here at the legislative breakfast for the largest parade in North America. Give it a, a round of applause. We are talking about an event that in total economic impact is well over a billion dollars. This is huge and one of the best kept secrets. Thank you, you know, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn is really in the house today and we are in a good place as a borough and as the richness of the Caribbean community. So, first of all, as 
both as state senator and as borough president, I represented a real large chunk of Crown Heights, Blackbush, and other parts of the borough. And I've always had an awesome amount of support from the diaspora of the Cuban community. And I wanted to say thank you for letting me be a marching this year. And, no, y'all, listen. In Brooklyn, you learn how to talk over the crowd. Let people do their thing. You know, let, let people interject and, um, and just enjoy themselves. This is a moment where we're just going to appreciate the entire energy of the Brooklyn community. I'm looking forward to be Grand Marshal. I'm looking forward to marching. I'm looking forward to spending the next four years and continue to make this world a great place to live and raise healthy children and family. Thank you, committee. Thank you for what you have done. Let's make this a good, safe parade. Thank you very much. Hold on one second, Eric. I understand uh, today is your 21st birthday. <laughs> so we ask everyone <laughs> that can sing to sing happy birthday to Eric.